Well, good, uh -uh, I think almost morning. No, it's almost afternoon. Okay, so it's the morning, I guess. I, I don't know. Um, car is still not here, so, um, yeah. Um, I'm still waiting for the mechanics to call and see what they found so we can go and fix it. So, I'm staying at the house today. Yay! With this one right here. Hey, you. Hey, you. What, what, what are you doing? She has no idea what she's doing. Besides circling around me. Um, but anyway. So, I got a couple of stuff lined up for me to do today. Granted, it's almost 12 in the afternoon, but you know what? It's okay. Um, at least we had breakfast this morning, so. <laughs> um, so, what the plan for today is, um, it's basically, I'm going to start to cook some stuff. Last night we had pretty much leftovers. Because, because I told my mom something. And, and that, like, you know. It, it's like a really complicated situation, but um, how things are and stuff like that. Um, it kind of like when you know what to do, it works for you, but there's also a compromise between two things. So the compromising is, and why pretty much almost everybody once I done telling this. I'm just going to get so totally confused. Um, is that, okay, so when you make food, or when you clean, um, does it ever, like, hold, like, a lot of, uh, plastic containers for, like, leftovers and stuff? I mean, we're, we're pretty much getting back to, we're, like, back in the day, we used to have a lot of plastic containers. Ranging... She's toxic from your gum. But yeah, we used to have a lot of plastic containers. Ranging from Tupperware containers to um, containers that um, had lunch meat when we bought it to, uh, to containers from restaurants because they use plastic containers um, to uh, box their leftovers basically. Um, so all that, you know? We used, to, we used to have, like, a lot of them. And now we're, like, well, let's just say we're getting more to about the horde of what we used to have. I mean, we used to have a, um, a, um, what do you call it? A big humongous, uh shelving unit, I guess you can call, that used to be in the laundry room, and that one, was, that was filled with a lot of, of the containers, plus some of, like, our blenders and stuff that we could use, but a lot of containers, and, well, I use that little unit for other things right now, like, uh, like, I want to get a new stove soon, so, like, I mean, the house needs a huge upgrade, so, um, so, from cleaning the house and stuff, um, some of the stuff that used to be in certain rooms are now used for something else in other rooms, um, and our plastic containers are growing again. I think it's because we spend too much time in money, not complaining that much, but too much time and money going out to eat at Momo's. Because Momo's, depending on how many stuff you buy, you get a lot of containers. Really? <sighs> this job. This is new? Hey, slow down. That's new. It's 
also a death truck, but that's new. None of these 18 wheelers that. <laughs> None of these 18 wheelers that we used to have actually pulls one of those type of things. Which, that's pretty much what we want our house to be made out of. But, um, I don't know. I don't know. I'm thinking about moving to a different area. <clears throat> because, since like, we've been living in this area, I don't ask my mom how long. Um, but before I tell you that, I'm, I'm, I'm so telling you off topic, <laughs> sorry, but spread out the containers. So, what I'm going to do is I'm making more food, and how it's so confusing is that, okay, you want to make more food, but you got too much leftovers to make food. So, you get some food ideas, but you don't have room in the fridge because we're buying food, then you have half of the fridge filled with containers of leftovers which they're all dated and stuff um well i i date mine so um to like bifo everything out of the fridge um but anyway so you date them and stuff and there's a lot of leftovers but you're still making food and then you're buying food at the same time and then every single time you forget about the leftovers, but make more food, and then the leftovers containers close more and more, like your hoard of containers that's outside the fridge. And then when you know, you're going to complain about that there's more containers than anything else, and that you can't really make anything because of all the leftovers that you have. So. <laughs> So, we're done with leftovers tonight, or today, so I'm going to make more food. Um, but they're going to be really good. So, the other thing I was going to talk about, we'll see. Oh, yeah. So, I asked my mom how long we have been living in this area that we're living right now. And, let's see, she said that we moved, I think she said 2005 or 2006. I don't know. Um, but she said around 05 or, or 06, and then if you count from 2010 to 2020, so that's already a decade plus those years. So if it was 05, it would be five years, a decade in five years, or a decade in four years. Right? Um, <laughs> I don't know. I, I, I don't. But it, it's we've been around in this area more than a decade. I'll say that. <laughs> um, so I'm thinking because I even told my mom I have like this future purchase type thing going on, um, and at the very very end. It's my future car that I want to buy for myself. My, and I'm going to call it as my official first car. I don't really count TARDIS as my first car. I mean, yeah, I am driving her, but it's not really my official first car, if you see what I'm saying. I mean, I call her, like, like this house is not my official first house of purchasing till I actually buy a house. I just call this, like, a training ground of a house. Like, how to fix it, cleaning it, and taking good care of it, and then all that fun stuff, you know? So when I actually do get a house, or I build one myself, I, I, which is also another thing that I wanted to do too, I can actually know how to take care of it. Same with the car, so. <gasps> Yay, adulting, right? Hey, yeah, why don't you get out of the house? I'm just saying. Oh, um, but anywho, so yeah, um, so we're going by, um, so we've been over here around a decade and stuff, so I'm thinking about moving. Um, but I don't know where yet, so. I'm thinking if I'm still in college, like I'm saying, um, like, okay, so I get my future purchase, um, stuff. So I'm gonna go through the whole list. Some of it is stuff that I wanna do on the Adventures channel, like a lot of things. 
And then there's like actual future purchases for the future of my family, basically. Um, so, like I said, the last thing is like cleaning the whole house. Or that's not the last thing. But like first thing is cleaning the house and fixing it up. Then the sec second to last is actually buying my car. And then um, by then, depending on the gear and stuff, um, this house should be done and fixed. And hopefully, the mortgage it paid for, like fully paid for. Um, and then, um, then we should probably sell it. And then buy, say, another house or build a house. Now, if we we're going to build a house, we're actually going to stay on this property and actually build a house behind it. Of course, I have to have blueprints and all that stuff and what it looks like, have a construction people to do that, and also make sure it's okay with the city, so, yay. <laughs> and then... And then the plan would be like by like building like behind this house. So like if you can imagine this, like okay, all of those first thing, all of those needs to go. All of that needs to go. Okay. So so here's the house and where it's at, right? So we're going to build in the back. So like that fire pit right there, that has to go too. Just saying. So like in this section right here would be uh, let's see. What would this section be? Oh, this would be the first thing. So we're going to have... If we had, like, those shipping shipping containers that we saw under, like, under the freeway, like, a few minutes ago. So we'll probably have maybe... So, like, one right here, two, and maybe three along that side. So that's means those trees will probably have to go. Um, and then if we wanted a second floor, they'll be on the top too, uh, like that. See, see, it, it's kind, of, it's kind of hard to figure out. Definitely, if I don't know how, to, well, I know how to draw it, but you know, it, it's kind, of, I don't know, it, it's kind of hard to figure out. But so, what are you looking if we wanted like the if we could build a um, with shipping containers? We would probably need about, see, if we weren't three sides, so maybe three to six shipping containers, give or take, depending on how big you want it. Um, so, there's all that stuff. Really? The dry leaves all over the place. Ah, messy child. She's so messy. Um, but anyway. So yeah, about three to six shipping containers. But if we can't build it on here, because I am thinking about it too, and what my mom said about it, and if we did build, and if it was okay with the city, if we built uh, behind the house and then just destroy the house that we're living in right now, um, after it's done, that's when we have to redo all the plumbing. Like, we already fixed the plumbing for this house, and that's when we have to rewire where it connects from this house to the water, uh, the water meter. We have to take that and then continue it to towards the newest house that's built. So, I don't know. I think that's going to take, like, forever. <laughs> but then again, I, I don't know. So, we might build a house on the same property, or we might just buy a new one. I don't know. Um, either way, we're going to have fun about it. <laughs> and, uh, yeah. So, and if you guys are new here, you probably want to subscribe just in case if we did do it. And, you know, and plus we have fun, so. Like that one. Hey, what are you doing? Huh? Huh? What are you doing? She has no idea what she's doing. Anyway, sorry for making this vlog a little bit long. Um, I know the previous whole vlog is going to be long too. Because that's kind of like the story of Tardis having a sick day. So, sorry about all these long vlogs and long videos. But, you know. 
sorry for the advance. Have a laugh. Anyway, so I'll see you guys later, and I'll keep you updated um, if I get more information about how TARDIS is, and some other stuff, and all the fun stuff. I'll see you guys later.